Well, very warm greetings from Lady June and Smile. It's the 24th of um, June 2014 and we are at Marholm and we're hoping to see one or two pretty colour trains and uh, also hoping to see a steamer as well. Um, but we will uh, wait and see and hold our breath. Thank you for coming along. It's lovely and warm. Uh, there's no bright sun to get in the way, so uh, we'll just have a lovely couple, two or three hours, hopefully. Okay, that's East Coast. We're on the East Coast Main Line, for those that don't know it. And uh, upon the footbridge is Darren, who will be giving us some information. So I'll thank you here and now, Darren. Mr. Deltic 15 on YouTube he is. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you just heard my phone probably. That's to tell me that there's a freight approaching. That's nice, very pretty, the rainbow. That's a little unit on its way back to Spalding. That's where all the daffodils and tulips are all grown out that way, on the fens. Ah, it's a Grand Central train going to Sunderland. Ooh, that's, that's a bit rare, that coming up the Midland line. It's nice, weren't it? And there's uh, Lady June giving a wave, so we get a toot. All working out well so far. Flying Scotsman, I was just going to show you June waving, but that was one end of the Flying Scotsman <laughs> on there. Quick snatch there, under a few spots of rain actually. Um, not in for long, just a little teeny small spot shower. Why, why don't I just shut up? That was first whole trains coming from Hull going to London King's Cross. That's the usual uh, East Midlands unit running from Liverpool Lime Street via Nottingham, Peterborough, March, Ely and down uh, through to Norwich. <laughs> well, thanks to Darren, I knew that was coming so I was all ready for it. First old train's going north that time from King's Cross to Hull.
don't know whether I've seen that name before on the side of a box, Yang Wang. It was either Yang Yang or Yang Wang. Could well look as if the HST was riding on the steel wagons. <laughs> well, we're looking at this now, <laughs> we were scorching hot and the sun was boiling hot. We even used a brolly as a sunshade, and now it's absolutely bucketing down with rain. And poor Hayden arrived on his motorbike, he's been sitting in the car with us, and I don't know what he's going to do. I think he's trying to get his camera out. and. Um, I was just saying, with the Mondeo estate that I had, you could just sit on the back with the lid up and keep in the dry, but with this now a saloon car, you can't do that, you get yeah. absolutely soaked. So, um, it should be a freight up any minute, according to our friend Darren, but um, I'll have the camera on ready, whether we'll get it any good or not, I don't know. Ah, uh, it's gone blurred. No, it ain't. It cleared again quick, luckily. Well, that's the... What's that? The, that weren't the steel, was it? Nice. Hmm. Well, I don't know what it was, but anyway, we'll see whether Darren got it. It's all cleared up as I said. Certainly too muddy now to be down the field, so um, we'll come up to have a chat with the lads on the bridge and we'll stay a little bit longer because apparently the top and tailed uh, measurement train is due back. <laughs> 